Energy price inflation is through the roof. In some states, the retail price of electricity is double what it was just five years ago. And that's why so many people are choosing to solar power their home. In this video, I'm gonna be teaching you about the three different types of solar power system and how you can connect one to power your home. All right, now in today's video, we're talking about how to solar power your home. And before we talk about how to power your home, you need to understand the three different types of solar power system. Now, the first type and the most popular type is what we call the grid-tied solar power system. And the way the grid-tied solar power system works is solar panels provide power to an inverter. The inverter converts the electricity from direct current to alternating current to match how the our homes are wired and how our, the electric grid is wired. And then that electricity is fed in in parallel with your utility service. So you actually have both power sources activated at the same time. The solar power will provide as much power as it can to the house. And then if the needs of the house are fully met, any excess solar can be exported back to the power company for credit. So the way the system works is you're actually powering the home and you're, you're selling all your excess solar back to the power company, essentially running your electric meter in reverse during daylight hours, building up credits, so that then during the evening hour, you can pull that energy back in using the credits that you built up during the daytime. Now, the advantage of the grid tied system is that it, it's the lower cost way to eliminate your electric bill, assuming that your utility has a good solar buyback program. However, it's not gonna provide any, any backup power or allow you to run off the grid. Now, with an off the grid solar power system, you have solar panels, you also have battery storage, and in most cases, you have an inverter as well. If, you, if you're setting up like an off-grid cabin or an off-grid, uh, like, a, like a lodge or something like that, typically you're, you're gonna wanna wire it with 120 volt circuits like you have in your home. And so you're gonna have an inverter that can pull direct current electricity off the solar panels and the batteries and provide alternating current the same way you'd have in a normal home that's hooked up to the electric grid. Now the off-grid system is great because you know in, in places where maybe you don't have any access to utility power um, or if you want to use it as an emergency backup power source the off-grid system fits that need. And then finally you have the hybrid solar power system or sometimes it's called the grid tied with battery backup solar power system. Uh, and the advantage of that type is that it can operate in both modes. If, if utility power is available, you can take advantage of a solar buyback program if it's available in your area. Powering the home on solar, sending excess solar to the power company for credit, pulling back in from the power company when needed, and then having a battery available to you in the event of a utility blackout. Um, or in some cases, you may wanna use the battery first before buying from the utility. This, this, this comes into play when the utilities are charging uh, peak rates. A lot of times they charge higher rates during certain hours of the day. So you could draw off the battery in that case as well. For the first 12 years I was in solar, it was the grid tied system that really got most of the attention. Because with the grid tied system, you don't have to take on the extra expense of battery storage. And in most areas where you have a good one-for-one -one solar net metering program, you don't really need to worry about battery storage. You just send the extra power to the power company during the day and you pull it back at night and they had been giving you full credit. But recently, utilities have been scaling back their net metering programs. The most popular, of course, is California with their new net metering three. They've changed the rules to where it used to be a one-for-one -one net metering credit. Now it's about four to one. You have to send them four units of electricity for every one that you get to pull back. And so that's why so many people are looking at doing hybrid systems or solar with battery storage systems. So you can just draw the energy in and out of your battery as needed. You don't really have to use the power company if you don't want to. Uh, by the way, leave a comment below if your utility uh, is changing or has announced that they're gonna be changing the solar buyback or the net metering program in your area. We'd like to hear from you. Now, the other reason hybrid systems are becoming more popular is the need for secure emergency backup power. Whether we're talking about wildfires in California or grid blackouts and deep freezes in Texas uh, or the annual hurricane threat in Florida, many, many more homeowners are now seeking a secure emergency backup power source. Uh, and in my opinion, there's no more secure emergency backup power source than a solar with battery storage system. You know, very simply, you have solar panels on the roof, they can power the house during the daytime, they can charge a battery or a collection of batteries, then you can draw off the battery at nighttime to keep power on in the house. And then the next day, the solar panels take over again and recharge the battery. 
And you can repeat that cycle as many times as you need without having to worry about storing fuel or having to purchase fuel during a time of emergency. By the way, if you're not sure which type of solar power and battery systems will work when the power goes out, I'll go back and watch our previous video on will solar panels work when the power goes out, where I explain to you the different types of systems so that you make sure that you can get the correct solution if you need a solar for emergency backup power purposes. The other thing that we're seeing is the integration of electric vehicle charging with the solar power system. Uh, and in the future, a bi-directional connection with the electric vehicle. Now what that means is that when you have the vehicle plugged into your home's power system, not only can you charge the vehicle using solar power, or if you wanna pull through, you can use utility power to charge the vehicle battery, uh, but in the near future, you're going to be able to actually pull energy out of the vehicle battery where the vehicle almost acts like another ba battery for your house. So maybe you wanna power the house off your electric vehicle battery if the, the utility is charging peak rates and you don't wanna to have to buy from them. Um, or maybe there's, again, maybe there's a grid blackout and you wanna be able to pull energy out of your vehicle battery and use that to keep the lights on within your home. So we're seeing all of these things sort of, sort of coming together. By the way, if you need help choosing the right system or getting one of these systems installed, um, as always, you can feel free to reach out to us on the link below there. You can set up a call with a solar expert uh, or just use our free online quote tool to see how much solar and battery storage costs in your area. Now, one of the trends that we're seeing emerge really over the past 12 to 18 months is the all-in-one platform. And when I say the all-in-one platform, what we mean is having all of your major solar and energy system components coming from a single manufacturer, everything trackable on a single app. So this means your solar inverter, your battery storage, your battery management system, your energy management or intelligent load management system within the house, uh, and your electric vehicle system as well, all on one platform which is a great time to introduce today's video sponsor, Point Guard Energy. If you're looking for an all-in-one solar and energy management system, then you need to take a look at the new Point Guard Home. Point Guard Home gives you total control of your home's energy system, incorporating solar power, battery storage, bi-directional EV charging, and intelligent load control seamlessly integrated on a single platform. The system is built using a modular stackable design, allowing you to start with a small solar plus storage system and easily add more battery capacity or the DC EV charger at any time in the future. So if you'd like more information, go to the Point Guard website or click the link in the description below so that you can get in touch with an installer right away. Now, there are a few different ways that you can connect a hybrid solar power system. Uh, many of them allow you to, con to configure it like an off-grid system. So if you don't wanna have that grid connection, you don't necessarily have to have it there. But in most cases, if your utility has already run service to your house, you're gonna wanna have that utility connection to the hybrid system even if your goal is to be energy independent, at least you have access to grid power if you need it in a worst case scenario. Now, you can also wire a hybrid system for grid tied with partial home backup. Now, when we say partial home backup, what we're talking about is typically the most critical systems within the home or what we would call the critical loads. What that configuration allows you to do is to stretch your battery running time. Since you're not necessarily trying to power everything in the house, you'll generally get more running time off of your battery uh, and then of course, the next day, the solar panels take over and they recharge the battery. So if you don't want to install a high capacity battery storage, maybe you don't need to run, let's say your central air conditioning or maybe your electric water heater. If you can keep those things off of the battery backup, but prioritize the battery for things like your refrigerator, your lights, maybe your, your bedrooms, home office, TV, internet, those could be partitioned in a separate critical loads panel to where only those high priority circuits receive battery power. Again, helps you extend your battery running time. But what we're seeing now, especially with the larger all-in-one solutions, is the popularity of the whole house backup. And so if you haven't seen our previous videos on different battery comparisons, make sure you review that because most of the battery systems that we're talking about today have enough capacity to provide a whole house backup, including heavy loads like air conditioning and clothes dryers, for example. Also, today's modern solar and battery systems offer various operating modes. Now, the one that we talked about first was having the battery to use for emergency backup purposes. And that's probably the most popular in terms of battery systems that are installed today. But they offer, also offer a couple of different operating modes. For example, self-consumption. Now, a self-consumption system is, is basically saying, 
I want to be energy independent. I want to run on solar power and I want to run off my own battery power first and then only use the utility company as the energy provider of last resort. So this is especially nice when, when your utility does not have a, a, a straight one for one solar buyback program. You might wanna configure the system to where you're powering on solar every day, you're charging the battery every day, then every night you're discharging the battery. So you're, you're actually powering the home off of the battery at nighttime first, and then only drawing from the utility in a worst case where the house needs more power at nighttime, solar panels haven't come up yet, and so whatever little bit of energy you just pull in from the, uh, just pull in from the power company. So that's a self-consumption system. This is gonna get the best payback for people that, again, do not have a straight one-for-one -one net metering program. And then the third operating mode is a time of use or peak rate avoidance. Uh, and what that means is that, you know, some of the utilities now are charging super high rates during peak hours of the day. Typically, it's, it's the last couple hours of the afternoon, early evening. So you, you viewers out there in California and Arizona, you know what I'm talking about. They charge you a super high rate during that late afternoon, early evening, which by the way is when people are getting home from work, they're turning their stove on. Uh, that's typically when, when the air conditioning is running the hardest. And so if you wanna avoid having to purchase electricity from the power company during those hours, you simply configure your solar power and battery system to prioritize battery during those peak hours and then you can recharge the battery when the rates are cheaper or just wait till the next day when the solar panels can recharge the battery for you. Okay, so this has been a quick talk on how to solar power your home. But of course, none of this matters if you choose the wrong contractor. And with the way things are right now, guys, I say honestly, it's about a 50-50 shot. Even if you go through all the best steps as far as how to choose and how to vet the best contractor, I'd say it's about a 50-50 shot that the company is going to stay in business uh, for the entire 20 or 25 year life of the warranty term. Um, so if you haven't seen it already, go, make sure you go back and reference our previous video on how to choose the right solar company so that you really do due diligence up front to vet the contractor to make sure that you're partnering with the right contractor before you choose your solar equipment. Well, that pretty much does it for today's video presentation. Uh, I thank you all for spending some more time with Solar Surge. Uh, of course, if you need to get a price quote for a solar or battery storage system for your home, as always, you can reach out to us on the link below there. Uh, either set up a call with a solar expert or just use the free online quote tool so you can see how much solar and battery storage systems cost in your area. Well, I thank you for spending some more time on the channel. And as always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.